Alright guys, so in this video we're going to be talking about turtles versus tortoises. Which one's best for you? Alright, so we're just going to jump right into it about the pros and cons of turtles and tortoises and which one would be best for you. Now really what it comes down to is what you're willing to put into the animal and what you can house or how you can properly care for it. So uh, let's start with diet. That seems to be the big roadblock for a lot of people because they don't really know how to um, feed them correctly. So with a lot of aquatic turtles, I say this cautiously, okay? Never is it a good idea to feed them just pellets, but you can get away with feeding them just pellets. That's saying it's a more common species, you know the pellet industry, like you know what's in it, you know who made it. Um, never should you ever feed them just pellets. I'm just saying pellets have like the main nutrients that a, an aquatic turtle needs. So it's basically you know 80% of the diet that they need. And then another diet you could use or feed them a little extra are live feeder fish, worms. I've heard you can do chicken liver, greens, just stuff that they would find in a pond. But with tortoises, especially when raising one from a baby, it's much more challenging just because depending on how you get the greens, you'll need to go to the store every week. You'll need to either grow them yourself. Um, there are like Missouri tortoise diet that is perfect stuff, especially for grassland species, which are your more common species like cicadas, Russians, ermines. But that's not, that's only like 50% of the diet that they need. They need, they need a lot of uh, calcium, or not calcium, but like vitamin A, like carrots, uh, collard greens, mustard greens. You need some romaine lettuce for a lot of moisture. You can feed them a uh, watermelon and cantaloupe. But in general, tortoises are harder to feed and care for than turtles. Another big thing about housing turtles versus tortoises are the enclosures. Now turtles almost all the time are kept in tanks. You can do kiddie pools, that's just fine. Uh, if it's like a little one, if it's a full grown, I would suggest like a pre-made pond. But uh, no, most of the time you're gonna have them in a, a glass aquarium. And that can be an issue for a lot of people knowing the fact that glass aquariums most of the time are very expensive, especially if you get them at pet stores. I highly suggest getting them off of Craigslist or you know, maybe a friend has one. There are a lot better ways to get an all glass aquarium than getting them from like Pets, PetSmart or Petco, which are really bad places to buy reptile equipment anyway. But tortoises, as their enclosure goes, you can make something very easily. You can get some 2x4s and some plywood and make a nice big uh, adult Russian tortoise enclosure with just plywood and 2x4s for like, I don't know, 30 to $50. If you already have the material you need, you can very easily make a decent sized enclosure for a tortoise for nothing. So that's another really good reason why tortoises may be better as pets than turtles for you. Um, turtles, a lot of the time with the stuff they need to with their care, a lot of the stuff with turtles, them, you're gonna need to buy made for pet like stuff. Like if that makes sense. Um, Cause with tortoises, a lot of tortoises, you can like, you can go to Home Depot, you can buy a big like flower pot and use that as a hide. You can do that with some turtles too, I guess. But uh, like with turtles, like the filter and everything, that's, that, that's a made for pet, um, made for animal products. Like I was saying with tortoises, it's you can make a lot of it. You can buy it at Home Depot. Tortoises are kind of like DIY animals, if you know what I mean. You know, you can build their enclosure, you can build their hides, you can build everything they need, except really, like the light bulbs, which I guess you could do if you're like a chemist. But there's another, just a little topic about turtles and tortoises, and let's move on to the next one. All right, now the next one is going to be activity level. Now, right off the bat, you're thinking. Tortoises really activity level. Um, here's the thing between turtles and tortoises. 
Uh, turtles are very, very energized, depending on the species you get. Most species you're going to get, Pestors, are like, you know, they're sliders, painted snaps, and those guys are just hystatic, especially when it's feeding time. They'll sw swim at the glass, you know, begging for food. They'll all come over, you know, they'll all jump off the basket area to get food. But with horses, they you know, take it a little bit slower. You know, they'll walk over to the, uh, the end of enclosure that you're in, but really, they're, they're a little bit more laid back. Now, a really good plus with turtles is their setup if you, you know, if you have it right, like the one I have here, it's like furniture in my room, and it looks really good, it's really appealing, it's a rather beautiful setup for them, but uh, with tortoises, if you were to do a DIY enclosure, it wouldn't probably look that appealing if you were to just use plywood or 2x4s and then paint it or stain it or anything. I made one for these guys, and it looks amazing, unfortunately that cost... A decent amount of money but definitely not something that would be a tank that size that would be outrageous all right so this is the topic that is the big deciding factor of almost all pet owners and that is the money now turtles and tortoises especially with any reptile especially turtles and tortoises you're going to be spending money I've spent thousands of dollars on turtles and tortoises and that's not including vet visits it's just because of the amount of animals I have if you have one or two, especially if you have more than one in one tank, it really isn't that much money, but say a light bulb goes out or you have to change the filter, get new filter pads, you're looking at probably a good you know, $10 a month unless a bulb goes out, then you're looking at, oh, uh, it, it really depends. I know especially with me, all my bulbs go out at once because I get them all, you know, I don't get them in bulk, but I get them all at once, so I spend you know, like a hundred dollars on light bulbs every six months just to get them changed because, you know, the UVB and the, the UVB bulbs run out of UV after six, six to ten months, so you have to replace them then. But the price is, this is what gets a lot of people on turtles, is my musk turtles, it was a two for twenty deal, and I couldn't pass that up. It's in with the aquatic turtles, is they're so cheap. You can get them anywhere. You know, Pet Smart Petco. Don't I don't recommend getting them any reptile there, but you can get an African side neck for fifty bucks, and it's you know three to four inches established. Go to Reptile Show. You can get you know three or four inch map turtle for like twenty dollars. While with tortoises, on the other hand, it's like a hundred dollars for just one animal, especially if it's a baby. Baby sulcatas go anywhere between you know fifty dollars to a hundred dollars. Uh, Russian tortoises captive bred are, you know, 80 to 130 to 200 in some places. But a lot of the time people get the aquatics because they're cheaper when, you know, the, the animal itself is cheaper at that point. Well, here's the thing. Even though the aquatics may be cheaper when they're babies or when you get them, the tortoises, they won't, you won't use up as much money down the road caring for them as you would an aquatic turtle. I mean, it's not that not that um, long ago, probably a few years ago, I was cleaning out a 40-gallon tank, and I went to pour the rocks in too quickly and cracked it. And that's another tank down the drain, and I have to worry about getting another tank. But with tortoises, you don't have to worry about that, because unless you're using it in an all-glass aquarium, you, there's really nothing to break with the tortoise. For, you know, electrical things you have to worry about, like with filters, a filter burning out or a pump burning out getting it clogged overall I would say tortoises are just a little bit cheaper to care for than the turtles um, this is all indoors by the way if you have a turtle outdoors basically all you have to do is feed it I have a lot of them outdoors and the ones in the pond right now are actually hibernating I just feed them every once in a while and they're good but um hope you guys enjoyed this video hope it was uh, you learned a little bit of a thing or two if you have any questions or comments Make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. I like to get back with people. Um, but, yeah, thanks again for watching. Make sure to subscribe to Shelled Reptiles. I have a lot of videos, and I also take requests pretty frequently. I'm going to be uploading a lot more, so look out for that. And have a great day.